Okay everyone, so I am ready to start making our pecan sour cream coffee cake. And what we're going to do first is make the crumb. So we'll do the crumb first and then I'll go over the ingredients and making the actual cake itself, okay? So let me take you and show you what we got for ingredients for the crumb. So first we have uh, one and a half cups of pecans and I bought these at Walmart and I got them in this uh, it's just great value and I got them in pecan halves rather they did have a bag of uh, chopped up pieces for baking but my thought was to get them in halves because we can do other things with them as well make like make our own honey roasted pecans so I wanted to get the halves and also just a bit of information on cost so this is a two pound bag of pecans and it was seventeen dollars a one pound bag was ten dollars so if you buy two one pound bags it's twenty dollars if you buy the two pound bag you're gonna save three dollars so just a bit of money saving information there alright so let's move on one and a half cups of pecans one third cup of regular white granulated sugar one third cup of brown sugar and packed uh, because packed will um, basically press out the air pockets and the granules on there. So I looked that up on uh, Google, by the way. <laughs> I wanted to know what the difference between packed and just spooning it into the measuring cup. So packed brown sugar, one third, one third cup. I have one teaspoon of cinnamon, uh, eighth of a teaspoon of salt. You can hardly see in there. That's because it's so little and three tablespoons of melted butter. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this stuff mixed up in our bowl here, and then we're gonna put that to the side. So let me put the camera down and we'll get going. Okay, so just to show you how, uh, how I chopped them up, there I go tilting, uh, maybe I'll just bring the camera to the bowl. All right, so just to show you how I chopped the pecans, uh, just little pieces like that. You don't want to chop them up so fine that it's a powder because this is going to be your crumb. The main ingredient in your crumb. Okay, so just to show you that. Okay, so I got my pecans in the bowl. I'm just going to dump everything else in there. Okay, and then my melted butter. Alright, so I'm just going to take this spatula and just mix it all together and make sure everything is covered in butter. Hope everybody is having a good New Year's. What's in store for 2021? Well, the coronavirus is still hanging around. But we won't talk about that. We'll just make this a good, happy video. Making a good pecan sour cream coffee cake. So looking forward to it, too. So how I got this recipe was on Facebook, uh, a friend of ours, actually he's a longtime friend of Glenn's. They've been friends for years before I even got here. Um, but he shared this recipe from all allrecipes.com. And Glenn thought it looked good, so he shared it on mine, or he commented on his friend's uh, sharing of this and said it, it looks good. I'm going to ask Karina to make this, so here we are. We're making it. And I agree, it looks really good. So he shared it to my Facebook page, and as you can see, I have my recipe book, and I wrote it all down in there. This is going to be Karina's recipe book. All right, so, yeah, you want to make sure everything is covered because this is going to be the crumb you spread all over the cake. And your brown sugar, you'll get little uh, lumps in there. Just uh, make sure you get all those out. Oh, yeah. And I love pecans. So that bag that I just showed you, <laughs> I've already get kind of picking them out and eating them. So 
it's dangerous to have stuff near me. I'll just pick them out and eat it. So uh, Christmas and New Year's, it's all over. Boy, did that come and go fast, huh? It's so sad for me because I look so forward to Christmas season. I look forward to listening to Christmas music and watching Christmas movies. So it's making me sad to see it go. Okay. Okay, so I've got everything incorporated in there. You can see it just kind of looks like a sticky, a sticky uh, combination of everything. All right, so, all right, so now I'm just going to put this to the side, and we're going to move on to the ingredients for the actual cake, and then we'll make that, all right, so I will be right back. All right, folks, so I am ready to do the cake now, and as you can see here, again, I have my recipe book, so let me go over all of the ingredients. So here I have one and seven-eighth cup of flour. And then I have one cup of sour cream, two large eggs, one cup of sugar. I have one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. I have one teaspoon of, no, three quarter teaspoon of baking soda. I have one teaspoon of baking powder. And then I have a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a cup of butter, again, which is one full stick of butter. Okay, so these are all the ingredients you're going to need for the cake. Then you're going to need uh, either a 8 by 10 or a 7 by 11 uh, baking dish. And you want to butter the bottom and the sides. So I already have that done. And when we're ready to pour the batter, I'll bring it over here, obviously. Okay, so I'm going to get two bowls, one for the dry mix and one for the what's going to be the creamy mix. Okay, so let me get set up. Okay, so I've separated my dry ingredients from what's going to be the creamy ingredients. So all the creamy stuff is over there. I have my dry stuff over here, which is my flour, my salt, my baking powder, and my baking soda. Okay, and for the dry ingredients, you want to use a whisk because you're going to whisk it all together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. My flour. These little cups from the Dollar Tree come in handy for uh, small ingredients like the salt, the baking powder, etc. I can just throw them in these little cups. Um, I don't know if you remember, but I went over that. I got them from the Dollar Tree, a pack of 10 or 12. Not bad for a dollar. All right, so I have all my dry ingredients in here, and I'm just going to whisk it together. That's Prissy in the background, letting me know she woke up from her nap and she's hungry. All right, so we're going to put the dry ingredients over there, and now we're going to do the wet ingredients, or what's going to be the creamy ingredients. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the butter and the sugar first together with the spatula. So let me grab my spatula. seem to have lost my spatula. Let's grab another one. Grab a bigger one. I have these uh, spatulas from the Dollar Tree as well. And I still need to do the uh, Dollar Tree kitchen item video that I've never done. But I have a lot of Dollar Tree kitchen items that I use and they're very, they work very well. And for somebody just heading out on their own, like a young adult or any adult going out on their own again, um, it's, it's cheap. <laughs> 
So, all right, so for this, again, like I said, the butter. And this is at room temperature, so it's soft. So you just wanna put that in there. so messy when I bake. I got butter all over my hands. That's okay. I usually have a paper towel handy to wipe down my hands. So my butter and my sugar. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my spatula and just mix them up. So you can see there, just those two ingredients. And all I'm doing is mixing them up together. Yeah, so uh, um, when I started this video, I was telling you how I was listening to uh, music on my little tablet there in the speaker. That tablet I probably got like eight years ago, a little seven inch tablet, and I haven't used it in years, but I turned it on the other day. It works fine, so I figured I'll keep it in the kitchen. It's usually when I'm in the kitchen doing stuff, I'm uh, listening to music if I'm not making a video, but I can't play music while I'm doing a video because that's a copyright infringement so they'll demonetize my video if I do that and then I got that little speaker from the company I used to work for every you get a gift of your choice from their catalog every five and ten years the first year they give you a keychain so for my five-year anniversary it's a Bose speaker so it's really good that little speaker really blasts out sound so I chose that on my fifth year anniversary. Then on my 10 year anniversary, I let me show you. I know I'm going off track here. But these uh, binoculars, they're good ones. Bushnell, major uh, brand of binoculars. So I chose these for my 10 year anniversary. And I keep them here in the windowsill in case I see wildlife or birds way out in the backyard. So I can look, see what they are. So yeah, that was nice of the company to do that. All right, get back on track here. Stop babbling. Okay, so there it is, butter and sugar just all mixed up together. Now what we're gonna do is add the eggs one at a time. Now I was able to do this really well the other day. So one at a time and then we're really gonna mix it one at a time good in for a couple minutes. Okay, so that's one. I think this cake is, uh, this coffee cake is really going to be good. I'm looking forward to uh, doing a lot different, a um, lot more different recipes, baking and cooking. Um, yeah, I definitely want to do a lot of different recipes. And as I find recipes, I'll make videos so I can share them with you guys. And you guys can try them if you'd like. And that way you don't have to go hunting for the recipes. Just come here. <laughs> All right. You see how uh, it's looking nice and creamy now? So that's one egg. And now I'm going to mix in the other one. Yeah, so last night for New Year's Eve, uh, we did pretty much uh, what we do every year, which is just stay home and relax. Um, Glenn had his uh, herring with crackers and some uh, pepper jack cheese. And I had some holiday sausage, and the holiday sausage is like big and round, so I just cut up in the quarters and put it on some Ritz crackers with uh, some block of cheese. Yeah, we just kind of lounged. 
I watched a Christmas movie I haven't seen in years. Sorry, I'm just going to mix up these little Smokies. Actually, I'm just going to put those on warm now. Have the warm option. Not really cooking, I'm just warming them up. So yeah, I watched a Christmas movie. I found it on YouTube, so you can find a lot of free movies on YouTube. Uh, it was called Holiday Spin with Ralph Macchio. It was a really good movie. Um, but yeah, it was it was made in the early 2000s, but hadn't been shown in years. So, okay. So I have my two eggs incorporated now. Nice and creamy. And now what I'm going to do is add... Where's all my... I'm going to add the vanilla and the sour cream. I'm going to take my spatula out now because we're going to go back to the whisk. I'm going to leave this here. And add the vanilla and the sour cream. Again, a cup of sour cream. And the sour cream is uh, sour cream we received from the food pantry uh, a while back when uh, we got the USDA boxes. There was two sour uh, containers of sour cream in each uh, one. So we want to use that up. So that's a good use for it. Yes, I'm sticking my finger in there. It's my finger, our cake. All right. All right, so now I'm going to take my whisk, which I lost again. I do that often. And I'm just going to whisk it together. And you get the sides also, because a lot of stuff stays on the sides. here. I'm not going to tip it too much, but you can just see it's a little more runny now. All right. I'm going to put my whisk down and now we're going to add our flour mix until the flour disappears. You don't want to over mix it in. You just want to whisk it in until it disappears, okay? So we're going to do that. And you can add it all at once. I know some recipes you just do a little bit at a time. So I'm just going to whisk it slowly so I don't puff powder out the sides as I often do. And this is not going to be like a, a real runny uh, mix, like a normal cake mix would be. This is going to be a little more um, stuck together, almost like a dough almost, but not quite. Okay, so I think oh, I've still got some flour on the bottom there. All right, I think I'm good here. <laughs> I'm gonna just take my spatula and take all that flour or that batter up off the whisk. So you don't need any mixers with this, not even a hand mixer. Spatula and a whisk.
then you could just take like a knife or something and something smaller than the spatula and just scrape it off. Want to get it as much as you can because you're going to use this batter uh, to pour in two different layers. So. Okay, so now we're done with all that. So I'm going to set up, I'm going to bring over my uh, baking dish and we'll go through and pour the batter, a layer of the crumb mix and another layer of the batter and another layer of the crumb mix. So I will be right back. Okay, so I have my, this is a seven, seven inches wide by 11 inches long. Uh, the original recipe called for an eight by 10 so I'm an inch different in either way, so it's the same measurement when it comes out, okay? So I have already buttered the bottom and the sides of this. So now what I'm gonna do is take half of this batter and pour it in. But you wanna make sure you save enough for the top layer as well. And then I'm just gonna spread it around. Like I said, it's not like runny like a normal cake mix. It's almost got a texture of dough. And I might pour a little bit more in here. The top layer is going to be a little harder because you're going to you're going to end up pouring it over the first layer of uh, crumb mix. Okay. But you want to make sure you got enough on the bottom layer to form the cake. This is where, you know, get a spatula and scrape up as much as you can on the sides. See how much I got just scraping off the spatula as well. Alright. I think we're good. Because obviously this is going to rise. Alright. I just licked my fingers. Okay. Now we're going to get the crumb mix. And we're going to pour it over. And then you're going to want to uh, spread it out. want to cover it as much as you can. This looks like it's going to be delicious. Okay, and then you just want to uh, take and just pat it down. A little bit not too much because you don't want it like inside the cake you just want it on top all right so now we're going to get our the rest of our batter and this is i think we're going uh, it's going to be a little bit more tricky because you're going to pour the rest of the batter on top of this layer of uh, crumb so but you don't want to disturb the crumb okay you don't want to Move it so it just disturbs it. So, all right. Again, you just want to see, I'm lifting up the crumbs. I mean, you're going to lift up some, but do your best to just try not to disturb all of it.
you get your sides. It's the first time I've made this, so <laughs> I guess uh, you'll see how it turns out as well as we will. But I don't see where it could go wrong. Now when I'm baking, this is where I do use measurements because in baking, measurements can make a big difference. We were supposed to get snow today. It doesn't look like we're going to. Actually, we might still. I think it's supposed to start about 5 o'clock. I won't do another snow shoveling vlog. I know that was kind of boring, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys how, how my world is when I snow shovel. Next time, I think I'll actually take you in the backyard and just look at the beauty of the snow on the trees. So the second layer obviously takes a little bit more time because you're trying to spread it out as much as you can, as evenly as you can, and without disturbing the pecan crumb mix. I'm going to turn this around. Almost got it. I'm just going to scrape up our uh, sides here. That's what's good about a spatula. It will clean this bowl out. Look how much more it gives me when you clean out the bowl. Trying to be real careful and make sure I cover it all up. All right. I think I got it. But I still have them on the spatula, so I'm going to take whatever I can and get it on the cake. All right. So now, let's take this out of here. Just gonna rinse off my uh, finger here. So now I'm gonna spread the rest of the crumb on here. After I get this going, I'll get it in the oven. We'll uh, probably taste these little smokies here. Then when this is done baking, I'll get the ham going. It actually still is early in the day. I'm thinking it's late. Out of the way. Let's see that a little better. All right, I'm just gonna spread the rest of my crumbs to cover the cake.
Okay, so I already got my oven preheated to 350. And the cook time on this is going to be 30 to 35 minutes. But I think I'm going to set it for 25 minutes and then check it. Okay. And then you're just going to test it when it's done. Test it the same way you would a, a cake. It's just um, I'm just going to put a toothpick in it. If it comes out clean, then it'll be done. All right. That's it. <laughs> Let's uh, hope for the best. I'll show you what it looks like here. Get that. All right. There it is. We did it. Well, <laughs> it's not done yet. So, all right. I'm going to get this um, in the oven, and I will be back. Okay, folks. So, there it is. Our pecan sour cream coffee cake is done. And it smells absolutely delicious. So, and it looks delicious too. You can see our top layer of crumb there. Let's see if I can get a view of the side here. You can see it's just uh, brown. So, and this uh, baked for 35 minutes. So, once it is cooled off and we eat dessert tonight, I will show you what it looks like in the inside. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, folks, so we are about to cut this thing, and we're going to do it together. So, here it goes. It feels like it'll come out okay. Just moving around in there and let me grab a plate. Let's grab the crumbs. Using my little mini spatula from the Dollar Tree. Alright, let's see what it looks like. Okay. Could see the second the very first layer in there of the crumb looks like it came out okay I think I'm gonna taste it yes I am that's good that is good. I took a little bite out of there. Definitely, uh, yeah, I don't even know how to explain it, but good. Definitely uh, can taste the, the crunch and the crumb here. Um, yeah, it's got a nice sweet taste. Um, could taste the pecans. And the bread is... Oh, I can't explain the texture. It's not your normal cake bread. It's uh, almost like a in between a airy and heavy fluffiness, I guess, to explain it <laughs> the best I could. But it's good. I definitely like the taste on that. So there it is. Pecan sour cream coffee cake. After tasting this, I don't think we'd ever buy a coffee cake from the bakery again. Because that's delicious. Alright, there you have it folks.